he also does some other stuff. So really great guy. Really stand out fella. Anyway. We have a ready from both players. Let's get started with game number one. Take six. In three, two, one. Tetris. Let me turn down the volume of the music a little bit. I feel like it might be too loud sometimes, so just fix it up. And Burrito Dad saying, you know, it's going to be a great match with 20 minutes of technical difficulties. I love it. Anyway, Mouse making his debut right now for the season, season 24 of CTL, considering we do have some people coming in from the raid. Uh, you can look at the standings of our players for this season with the link exclamation standings. If you head on over to that link, no, it will not give you a virus. Uh, it is not an IP grabber, but it will show you how our players are doing so far this season eyeball i think has one match under his belt let me check no actually they're both making their debut <laughs> i say my name think eyeball looks like a young weird al <laughs> oh, yeah. uh i love weird al Anyway, Miles at 161, Eyeball at 163. Can I fix the stencil a little bit, I wonder, for Miles' board? It's looking a little off, mainly in the score, but it's still readable. It's just not pretty, but it's okay. Bobby Penguins, thank you for the follow. You know, okay, Eyeball getting a bit high up there, but he is a roller, so they will be okay. That's 212 for Eyeball, 232 for Miles. Both players at around almost a 50 line mark here in the 18 speeds. Man, did the did I just accidentally disable the alerts for the follows? Because I feel like a little misdrop there for my ball. Gonna cost some burns. Nice triple there to open up that column nine. And nice long bar. Bolt be touch ready. Imagine if Weird Al started rolling. Can Weird Al make a song about Tetris and then specifically promote this channel, please? Like just this channel? That'd be great. <laughs> and we have 417 for Miles, 405 for Eyeball. Not discount CTM. Yeah, very good game for both players at the moment. So it looks like a potential 600k transition. Yes, uh, that is Match Reno, the prize pool. Match Reno money amy n6669 and morog emily thank you for helping claim those codes as miles is in a bit of trouble here needs to do a tiktok dig right now come on let's see if we can do it oh god oh man oh jesus christ what is all this he can still survive this needs a needs a, 
a lot of good pieces right now. This is not looking good. That's 23 lines to go before the 19 transition. Uh, oh man, gets the TPs all the way to the left side. Could use a flat long bar, but doesn't get it in time. However, he's using a nice combination of pieces to burn this down. He's losing a lot of pace, but great survival there from Miles. Still alive. Love a TP, but uses a Z, opens up the right well, and bangs out a Tetris. 513 for Miles. 597 for Eyeball, who transitions at level 19. Somehow behind in lines is Miles, even though he's been digging very high up at the board for quite some time. But very likely done. Both players have transitioned. I'll be hard saying, wait, I thought this was Dr. Mario. Unfortunately, no. I'm sorry. It's my favorite game. I have to reiterate how much my favorite game is Dr. Mario. Anyway, Eyeball got a bit spired there, but does get the Lomba for Tetris. Now it's 677 ahead by 80,000 points. Miles at level 21. 620, both players are fairly clean. Mr. Boro saying El Chapo looking for Miles. Okay. CTL saying, I think we'll get this up on the shorts after this game is done. You know it. I already have it scheduled as we. Sp I'm editing. I'm editing videos as as I'm restreaming at this very moment. Current queue. I keep forgetting to add the queue. But 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 but. but, but. After this match, we'll be having Eyeball versus Dangler. So stay tuned for that. We'll be having a two-match event. This is our first match. 7.29 for Eyeball, 7.35 for Miles has taken the lead after Eyeball has been stuck in a fairly lengthy dig. It's not a spire there for Miles in column 3 and 4, but still nice high left board. Now with a bit of a precarious situation, not deadly, but nice T-spin there for Miles. Still costing some burns, but very nice solve there. Lombard in a Tetris for Miles, 800,000 versus 7.94 for Eyeball. I may have to edit and post before Miles finishes the game. Yeah. I'm very glad that this is very clearly going to be a YouTube worthy match because I I'm out of content, like completely out of content. 876 for Miles, 920 for Eyeball, both players to level 26. There you go. Thank you, Classic Tactics League official. Trademark. All rights reserved. Miles in for a t uh, for a tuck. I don't I don't know if he tuck. I don't know what happened, but like you know he's fine now. So nine seventy seven for Miles. Max out for eyeball. Who is taking a fifty thousand point lead as we are nearing the twenty nine transition. Now both players with the max out. Eyeball looking for a potential 1.1 into 29. Set up for a J, uh, J dependency, but wasn't getting the J piece in time. Now gets it one piece too late. So this could be problematic for Eyeball. It's going to burn in 29. It's the Mamba for um, Tetris now with a 1.1. But Miles is taking the lead. Now at level 30. Keep in mind we do have a level 39 line cap. Double uh, super 39 Super kill screen. Super. But very nicely done here for both players. Eyeball looking for a Tetris. Taking a couple of burns. Miles on that Jade Pendency. As Eyeball opens up his right wall. Bangs out of Tetris. 1.19. Taking the lead from Miles. As both players are clean out. Level 31. Eyeball in a bit of trouble here. But does bang on down another Tetris now with a 1.23. Miles looking for a Tetris of his own. He does take that Tetris. Still behind, but only by 2,000 points. Nice J tuck there from Miles. Bangs out of Tetris, takes the lead as Eyeball has to do some burns. Solves that dependency with a Lombard. Now going to be Tetris ready, but hence the Lombard dependent on Calm 3. And his Lombard now gets the Lombard for a Tetris, 1.28. But Miles in a bit of a dig, he has to deal with. Needs a Lombard now on Calm 8. That's a dirty Tetris, 1.32. Eyeball is Tetris ready, takes the lead. We are back and forth here. Halfway done through level 29 speeds. Miles having that Lombard dependency on in the center. 
Now we'll be Tetris ready. Gets the llama for a Tetris 1.38, taking the lead. Eyeball is looking to respond. Some great plays here from both players, and they're just getting the long bar as soon as they're Tetris ready. Look at that Eyeball now with 1.39, but Mouth with 1.43 has to burn this down a little bit, though. So this is going to give Eyeball the opportunity to potentially catch back up. Mouth has to do a bit of burning here. Needs a long bar or just something to burn this down on the right side. Gets a nice J piece. And Eyeball looking for a Tetris once again. Is Tetris ready? Can he get the long bar? Will he get droughted? Nice square piece th adjustment there for the for the square piece on the left side. It's going to be Tetris ready once again. Bring to the Tetris. Now takes the lead. 1.53. Could we get a double roll over here? Only two Tetris left for both players. Eyeball with a Tetris. Mouth needs to go aggressive. Eyeball already with a, with a rollover now. He could even get a 1.7. And Miles not getting the lumbar in time. That's going to do it for Miles. Eyeball will take game number one. And with a 1.7. We'll take the game. But not the match. Because we still have at least two more games left to go. Because this was only game one. There you go, Miles with the, with the thumbnail face. Earth Saint, I swear Miles always brings out the best in his opponents. But we do have ready from both players, so let's get started with game number two. Can we see a a similar situation like in game one in 3 2 1 Tetris? Let's see here, T Lombar. Oh, Lombar T, yeah. And it looks like we do have same piece as once again. Very nicely done. So, what a game! Zephora Tamarux 202 Kiko. Thank you for the follows. We have 11 more codes left to claim in the match arena, you guys. So, we definitely want to get all those codes claimed by the end of the season, or else. Uh, Matrino will take away our ability to set up 50 codes per season. And that would not be good because that means less money for our players. And less money is not good. Less money is good. You can quote me on that. Eyeball currently playing perfect. Six Tetrises so far. 136 versus 116 for Miles. Let me read the chat. I feel like I missed some stuff. Jesus, says Colin. Bro is him, says Cole. What's Eyeball's PB? Asks number one Mo. I think it's a 2 million. If I'm not mistaken. Starlet, oh, thank you so much for claiming that code. There's only 10 more codes left to claim. Thank you very much. Down to the final 10. Yes, sir. Has Eyeball still looking... I can't speak today. Has Eyeball still been going perfect? I completely lost track. 270 and 54 lines. Uh... No, he hasn't. He, has to... he took four burns. It's still 303 at 60 lines. Very efficient game so far. Haiti Bug and Classic Tetris League have claimed two of the remaining 10 codes. And we're still going here. Yeah, true, say my name. Eyeball got completely robbed of his PB thanks to the line cap. No line cappers rejoice.
Mouse set up for a dirty center wall. That ball with some burns he has to deal with. Gonna make gonna slow down his efficiency quite a significant amount. Me too, say my name. I was a fan. Uh the moment it got implement the moment uh CTM implemented it. One could say I was a proponent for the line cap back in 2022, but no, we had to see 2 million points in level 100s. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 437 for eyeball, 434 for miles. Nice little uh, split double from eyeball. Gonna be J dependent, but solve the J dependency. Yeah, slow down a lot in his efficiency. Gets uh, back to back Lombard for two Tetris now. 491. Miles has the lead. And uh, what looks like an easy potential 600k transition from Eyeball. Looks like Miles is going to be the one looking for a potential 600k now. 504. But as I see, that has to do some burns, not getting the right pieces. Oh, got the lumbar one piece too late, so I had to create a hole in his stack. But still safe enough, just gonna cause some burns and we'll be okay. Eyeball can set up two more Tetrises before the 19 transition, gets one of them, gets another one for a 562 transition. Boppy Penguin, thank you for claiming the code. Much appreciated. It looks like Miles in a bit of trouble here, not getting the right pieces in time, but gonna transition with a 580, so very uh, uh, respectable transition for both players. Uh, but Miles looks like Miles is in a bit of the bit of an advantage so far in pace. Nice animal Tetris there for Miles. Gets another one now, 656. I bought 645. It's gonna be a triple, no, actually a double. And sets up another triple there without 654. Double Lombard dependent, but covers up one Lombard dependency, creating a hole in his stack, but still gonna be okay. Miles in a bit of trouble here. He's going aggressive, setting up for the for the Tetris. Gets a dirty Tetris now at 689. So still ahead in the real-time score and in efficiency. Being behind in lines. But we saw what Eyeball could do in 29, so this is still anybody's game. 749 for Miles, 674 for Eyeball, now at level 23. Miles looking to tie up the set. Yeah, so far a really good debut from these two, regardless of the outcome. Definitely showing why they are potential top contenders to make it into the playoffs. I bought two levels ahead of Miles. Now level 25. And still behind in score. Miles going for the safety triple. Gets a Lombard for Tetris. Oh, that was a quick level 24 there for Miles. Like that just came and went so fast. Miles set up for the tuck. Now has a whole a gap in his stack and transfer as well. No, gotta go for the triple for the efficient burns. Solve the J dependency still ahead in terms of pace, but eyeball has taken a real time score lead. Nice tuck there from Miles. Gets along for a Tetris 9 10. Eyeball looking for a potential max out into 29. Yeah, it looks like Miles is going to be the one with the advantage now at level 29. He's only at level 27. Almost with a max out. That's a lot for a Tetris. Just needs one more Tetris for the 1.01, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Eyeball already with a max at 1.02. It needs one more lo a Lomba for a Tetris. But he might be forced into a burn. Gets a double. Gets a Lomba for a Tetris. Still Tetris ready. Waiting for another Lombard. Hangs the T-piece, but gets a Lombard for a Tetris. Once again, bringing this down a little bit. Gets a 5-tap. 
there with Lombard on the left side. 1.1 for Eyeball. Miles still chilling here at level 28, but is set up for attackers. Might get the same drought here that Eyeball just got, but does wait long enough for the Tetris into 29. 1.09 for Miles. 1.11 for Eyeball. Miles did take the lead, but Eyeball takes it right back. Both players are locked and loaded right now. Eyeball hits a five tap once again to the left side. Forced to a couple of burns here. Solves the J dependency on Calm 3. Is Tetris ready? Nice J tuck there from Eyeball. Looking for a Lombar though. Needs a Lombar. Needs a Lombar. And that will do it for Eyeball. Topping out at 1.17 miles with the Tetris there. We'll take game number one. And we have ourselves a tied set. Oh my god, I'm tired. Juang, who is commentating? Kingsman. No, it's me. Uh, 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 it's this guy. He a Rick. That's me. That is the person who is commentating. It's better be match of the season right here. Let's get started with game number three in three, two, one. Tetris. <laughs> nice mustache. Thank you. I try my best. I'm probably going to shave it off, though. I'm getting kind of sick of it. I'll be showing off the baby face and multi Tetris. Super Fluffy Fluff saying, Today's my first time seeing Eyeball Beast play. Nice Z spin there from Eyeball. Yeah, Eyeball's really been stepping up his game lately. has been a multiple, I think few times CTL playoffs uh, player, but did end up getting eliminated twice with Pixel Andy in different seasons. I think the first time was like in season 20, and then the second time was this previous season. So definitely a really good player. Peek, nice to meet you. My name is Jasmine, and I love VIT. I can't blame you. Vitz is pretty cool. I never set them up because I'm scared. Uh, but yes, Vitz are pretty cool. Have you ever heard of the uh, Vitz challenge? Where you have to make every single potential or like every single combination of Vitz possibilities in one game. Don't be scared of the Vitz peak. Even King can do them and he sucks. Yeah, but, yeah, he can do them, but then like... At, at what point does he top out? <laughs> right after the Vitz. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it's pretty high. <laughs> uh, anyway, 192 for Eyeball, 232 for Miles. Also, should I have, should I uh, leap out the name? I don't want to be doxing people in YouTube. Sometimes I challenge streamers to a dollar per vid. Tristoff got $14. Sharky says his PB is 19, but I've yet to see it. In a game? What the fuck? Playing on level zero? Why did he set up 19, 19 vids? <laughs> What's the purpose of <laughs> that? If he wasn't even doing the challenge. Uh, I'm just jealous that I can't set up bits. What's a VITS? VITS stands for Vertical Eye Tuck Setup. It's where you set up an eye tuck. I, I mean, I, I know that sounds kind of like me not trying to explain it, but like that that's really all it is. It's like where you try to set up a pot a uh, a uh, lombar tuck. 
So, a tuck that can only be solved by a lombar. Four forty-one for Miles. Four thirteen for Eyeball. Isn't it great how I just don't commentate eighteen sometimes? Please vote for me for best uh, restreamer of season twenty-four. Kingsman says, formerly known as Death Defiant Lombard Slide or uh, or uh, Alito Tuck if you're from the uh, from the from the other place. Yes. Boyo taught me that. Oh, I fucking hate Boyo. Little, 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 uh, never mind. I'm just kidding. Boyo's cool. He's a pretty swell individual. Sometimes. I know, I, I had to remember that this is going up on YouTube, so I have to, I have to watch what I say as I drop an F-bomb. It's the same sentence. He is little though. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough pulling Poyo for no reason. Anyway, I have a bit of trouble here. You're gonna transition with a burn. Nah, 520. 647 for Mouse, who still can set up two more Tetrises. Yeah, yeah, Cap. I'm, I'm really just like, this is like snake behavior right now. Miles gonna transition at 679. Like, I'm only, I'm only talking crap about Boya because he's not even here. I mean, not like he can even see it, say anything mean to begin with. The worst he'll say is like, your, your Tetris play is, is not as optimal as uh, Miles the Great's Tetris play. Oh wow, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 805 for Miles as I'm talking crap Miles is just having the game of his life right now not game of his life but he's just having a really good game 831 at level 21 this is potential for like even a max out at level 24 Colin's saying you can say the F word once in a movie and still be PG-13 yeah, that's true. But like, does does YouTube even handle? Does even YouTube even like PG thirteen stuff? I I don't think so. Ooh, Ninety for Miles, level twenty two, seven hundred thousand for Eyeball, behind by over two hundred thousand points. Keep in mind, he's ahead in lines. Muy muy per persona grande. Uh, says say my name. Yes, I intentionally made a very American pronunciation of that sentence because I, I love it. It's it's very such a funny uh, way of speaking. Nine seventy nine for miles. Yeah, as I mentioned, he's about to get the max out at level twenty four. Eyeball already level twenty five. Eight thirty eight twenty three. Nice touch there for miles with the max out potential for a one. Excuse me, one point three. At level 29. But does need the Lombar. Getting some very uncomfortable pieces. Gets the Lombar for a Tetris though. And close down as well. It gets a couple of burns. We'll be okay. Set up for another Tetris. Eyeball getting a bit high up there. Oh man, this could be very problematic for Eyeball. Nice burn there from Eyeball. Gets a 5 tap there to the left side. I would have hung that yesterday. Yeah, this is going to come down to 29 play for Eyeball if he wants to take this game. Miles just going very aggressive right now with these setups. Getting some uncomfortable pieces, though. The 1.3 and 29 is over, but he can still get the easy 1.3 with 29 play. Katie Bug saying, Shout out to my BF for trying to teach me safe comp stacking. I just keep doing delayed bits the end way. Well, are you here for a... For a long time or a good time. Ooh, I bought a bit of trouble here. Nice triple there. Gets a llama for a Tetris with a max at 1.03. 
And a J piece of Penzi Solve with a triple on the left side. Miles transitions at 1.2 with a couple of burns and a messy stack. So he still needs to stay alive here because we've seen what Eyeball can do on 29 speed. So Miles cannot let go of the gas pedal here, even though he is ahead by 140,000 points. Takes it to the left full Tetris 1.25 from Miles. Eyeball doing the best he can to survive this, but he's running out of time. As Miles just continues to pour on the efficiency, and this could just do it for Eyeball. Yeah, that's just going to do for Eyeball, topping out at 1.06. So Miles will take game number three. And we'll be at match point. Is this Balloon's Tower Defense 6 music? It's not. I don't know I don't know what music is playing right now because I have the stream muted, but I just know it's not Balloon's Tower Defense 6. I haven't set up the playlist to be that way. Feel free to play it out, Miles. Get that one point roll uh six rollover. Oh, Gerudo Valley. Oh yes. Uh can't have a stream without playing Gerudo Valley. We do have ready from both players though, so let's get started with game number four. Can eyeball force a decider in 3-2-1 Tetris? Is twice in the same pod? It was probably twice in the same match. I think. Probably. I don't recall doing it. I, I recall... I know I've dubbed over somebody else. It wasn't you. Uh, it might have been... Dan V? I think I dubbed over one of Dan V's matches before. No, actually, Titus. I have not had any, like stuff with Titus, except for the cat thing I, I've, I've been spending a lot of time editing that cat in, in the next match that's gonna come um be uploaded to youtube tomorrow hey by the way we have a youtube fight guys we have youtube we're trying to get the 2k subscribers we're at 1.9 right now 1,900 uh 1,900 good lord mr beast we're at 1,900 subscribers I'm about to reach a nice 2k, so if you haven't already, feel free to follow our YouTube channel. Miles in a bit of trouble right now. I need to do some burns. Some very uncomfortable pieces here from Miles, which is unfortunate because he was having a really good start here to the game four. He was like at 190 at 30 something lines, which is very efficient, but those burns are going to cost a lot of efficiency now at 216, 50 lines. Cody Beck saying, let's go in the YouTube channel. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, Eyeball looking for a potential 600k transition right now with this efficiency. 397 on 76 lines, which is around where you want to be for Plomp play. I mean, sure, like, with if you try to go aggressive, you can, like, get a 600k transition even if you have, like, a 340 at 80 lines, but, like, you have to really push it. And that might not be what you want to do when you are down. Ooh, 
Miles setting up the double tuck with the Jade piece. Wow, okay, good lord. Never mind then. Double S tuck followed by a J tuck to accommodate the, the setup at the top of the board. Or like a few rows above. But he does hang a long bar to the left side, which is going to cause some complications. Not too many. Still 18 speeds, but this could cause burns. It's a long for a Tetris. May I set up a left wall? Nope. Just going to try to build up the left. Solve the J dependency. Dude, what the heck just happened to the YouTube channel? One of the shorts... Dude, I don't get short. The shorts algorithm is just so scuffed. This one short was like at 200 views for like an entire day. I take a one hour nap, I wake up, now it's at 8,000. I don't understand the algorithm, man. I'm too stupid for this. 567 for Miles, 628 for Eyeball. And Eyeball will transition almost with a 700k transition, 697. 616 for Miles, so double 600k transition, just what we like to see. Eyeball cannot let go of the cast pedal though. Ooh, uncomfortable square piece there. Hate squares, squares suck. All my homies hate squares. It's all about Lombard dependency though, it's gonna be Tetris ready. Is that a petite spin? But didn't get the T piece in time, so it has to create a couple of holes in his stack. Still in the lead, but Miles is catching back up now at 717, 755 for Eyeball. Uh, is this the last match of the day? No! We will actually be having another match after this between Eyeball and Dangler. Dangler, who's our top uh, players right now of Division 1B, has won both of his matches, I believe, in a sweep. So, it's at the top of the leaderboard. Eight sixteen for Eyeball. Looking to replicate what Miles did in Game 3. Is Jay dependent on the left side with a very... He had a very le uh, low left and a high right, which is really scary. Even, even as a roller. If you get the wrong pieces, that could spell trouble. Is that up for another Jade Piece dependency? Ooh, Eyeball. Eyeball needs a, needs a Lombar. Needs a Lombar. Gets a Lombar to the left side. Nice. Clutch 5 taps there. And a Lombar for Tetris. 914. Still in the lead, but Miles has caught back up. Takes the lead, but Eyeball takes it right back. Both players 900,000. Level 24. Miles 930. Eyeball 944. His loss was to Somalian. Actually, I think I restreamed that match. Maybe I did. I don't know. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I forget. Even though it happened like last week. Max out for Eyeball. 993 for Miles. We max out into level 26. And we are back and forth with the lead as we are nearing the 29 speeds yet again. Eyeball setting up yet another JP dependency. We get the JP right on cue. Good get a 1.3. Has one burn to do so on eyeball side, but as I say, that creates a hole in his stack, so rip that. Now, this could be problematic for eyeball because he's building up. He's like adding weight to that hole in his stack, which is not what you want to see, especially when you're getting near 29 speeds. This could be problematic, but nice adjustment there with a the T piece to accommodate the pieces. 1.18 for Eyeball, 1.19 for Miles. Eyeball can set up two more Tetrises. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Okay, gets one Tetris. 
Good RNG there from Eyeball. Gets along for a Tetris. 1.26 is in the lead. Miles takes the lead right back with a Tetris. 1.28. Can Eyeball clutch up the decider or will Miles seal the deal and take six points and the set in this debut match? Eyeball in a bit of trouble here. Needs yet another JP. Needs a Lombard to the left side or a JP. Needs either piece. Gets a JP for a nice triple. Opens up that well. Miles in a bit of trouble here. Miles in a bit of trouble. Gets a nice five tap there on the left side. Oh my god. My voice is just dying already. 1.32 for Miles. 1.29 for Eyeball. Bangs on the touch and takes the lead. Miles is Tetris ready, but getting droughted. So is Eyeball. This could actually come down to a few thousand points. Miles, 1.378 is going to be. Needs a Lombard. Needs a Lombard. Needs a Lombard. Gets a Lombard Tetris. 1.41 will take the set. I'm sorry. Screamed. Oh my god. That, that Lombard could not have, have come at a better time. Well, it could have, but like one piece later and that would have been it. That would have been a decider. But Miles takes the game and the set. And I, my voice is fried. My voice is absolutely fried right now. And I still have another match to go. So GG's to Miles taking a nice six points. Eyeball still with a good set, regardless of the loss. Can come back, because he'll be going up against Bangler next. Portal dies to Cat. Dude, Peek, this is your thumbnail right here. Portal and Cat. Oh, the Cat has been victorious. Oh, the Cat's gotten grabbed. Oh, it's round two. Round two. Portal grabs the Cat, but the Cat grabs Portal. Oh, 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 the, oh, it grabs the arm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Portal. Portal does the tickle attack. Oh, but the cat, it's cat bites. Oh, bites the glove, but the glove protects Portal's hands. And the cat appears to have given up. <laughs> oh, 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 the cat wants round three. <laughs> the cat is back for more. Why is he making so much content? <laughs> the cat is destroying that glove. <laughs> yeah, Portal is just fending it off with one hand. But well, look at him. Oh my gosh. Peek, if this is not in the YouTube video, I'm going to be mad at you. I mean, that's all I got to say. Oh, he's standing so tall. Oh, I hate to go, but I'm hungry. <laughs> he thought about it. He said, never mind. Oh, yeah. Oh, he likes that. Oh, he likes that. Oh, he's a happy cat. Oh, he's so happy. <laughs> all right. So you don't have to, like, get up to your computer or whatever. And apparently there's a countdown now. Okay, there's a ready from Dan. I think if I click this button, it'll count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it stopped. Oh, there's a one. Okay. Okay. Tetris works for Portal and Tetris works for Dan. And we are chilling. All right. Nestor's champs. Good job. Score differential is kind of bugging there for a second, but... We're back now. We're good. We're chilling. And ahead by one point. Probably insurmountable at this point. Portal getting another Tetris. Trying not to take any burns. Trying to uh, maintain that efficiency. But really awkward right side. Maybe forced to burn. Never mind. Just gets all the pieces that Portal needs. Very nice. Another Tetris for him, 68,000, but we'll take a double with a square. Dan gets a Tetris to go to 71,000 ahead by just 0 0.02 Tetrises, which I believe is half a single. So these players are, of course, uh, <laughs> showing down on a, on a Saturday because alliteration is important to these titles, I suppose a great it's a great name uh great job king it's it's awesome <laughs> portal's now uh off to a small lead at 162 dan at 121 of course very early on so this doesn't really say too much and uh portal is actually a bit ahead in line so really 
pace lead, not near as big as the actual score lead. Portal needs to fill out some dependencies here on the left side. And is doing just that, filling it out quite nicely. Throws the bar all the way to the left. And is now set up. Left side is filled out. There's a bar. There's a Tetris. 213 for Portal. Dan just gets another Tetris there as well to get a 189. Of course, Dan, you know, fresh off of playing Classic Tetris Monthly Masters event. And there's a cat. And Portal's just looking at the cat <laughs> more than Tetris. And I respect it. <laughs> if you need to pause to get rid of cat, that's probably fine. <laughs> but I, I like the cat, so I hope it stays. Very small cat. Katsugiri in the chat is a fan of the car. <laughs> just chilling. I mean, I respect it. It's not disrupting the gameplay. It's just chilling. Portal now with a solid two and a half Tetris lead. That was ahead by 11 lines. So, I mean, it's actually quite a close game if both players maintain this efficiency. Small drought occurring here for Dan. I'm guessing by uh, Portal being so ahead, he's probably ahead in the line count as well. So, probably already been through that drought. Or, never mind, there's the drought. Okay. Gonna spin that Z, gonna nail it. And Dan is getting a little bit high, but hitting some nice taps to the left. Gets a bar in time to bring the stack down. Builds that bar dependency with the J and then adds more weight to that hole in column three. So going to be stuck burning and will give Portal the chance to kind of pad this lead, which has grown to 100,000 points. Four and a half Tetris lead for Portal, which is a true lead as well, even with the line differential. Dude, White Bat audio is like the most generic music I've ever heard. <laughs> it's just like, it's it's definitely music that's being played right now. I'm just a, dude, I'm such a hater today. I'm hating on, on the, I'm hating on the King's titles. I'm hating on his music preference. I'm sorry, King's man. <laughs> the way the cat's just sitting there. That's a good cat. Knows not to disrupt the gamer. Players have crossed the 100 line mark. Uh, you know, the Joey Parker turn, if you will. And uh, it is a still a lead for Portal, though he is digging at the moment. So could give Dan the chance to kind of claw back at it. No pun intended with the cat there. Portal is getting out of this, though. Dan has brought the lead down to just 42,000 points in the favor of Portal. Nearing that level 19 transition, two more Tetrises available for Portal, three more for Dan. Are the Tetris rates bugged a little? Because I feel like Dan probably has more than a 36% Tetris rate right now. I think you need more than... 35% to get a 500 transition and Dan has transitioned at 518 portal transition 565 50,000 points ahead Tetris for portal there Tetris for Dan players trading them back and forth I made the mistake of streaming at 60 FPS my, my computer is not happy with me, but I will survive, and so will my computer, because if you believe hard enough, you can achieve anything. That's what my mom told me. Tetris for Dan actually takes the lead. Oh, no, it doesn't take the lead. Math is hard, I guess, uh, but almost takes the lead. It's behind just 5,000 points. 648 for Dan, 654 for Portal. Then with this Tetris, Dan will take the lead. 675. And the line counts have evened up now as well, so true lead, albeit pretty small.
and is now solidifying that lead with over one Tetris lead. So even if Portal gets his Tetris, which he will, Dan still has a lead and got another one as well. 733, 694, Portal. And another Tetris for Dan, another Tetris for Portal, trading them back and forth. Are you kidding me right now? Tetris for both players. The score is getting higher, but the lead stays the same. I saw that vision for Portal, but Mist dropped that T piece. Was trying to set up the tuck with the L dependency, but a bit of a misdrop. And this is giving Dan the chance to really solidify this lead. Now 856, 787 for Portal. Portal is bringing it down, but oh, that awkward placement there. Setting up some tucks, and now a spire in the middle could cause trouble. And a terrible time for the game to just die, but I'm guessing Portal just passed away in game uh, because he is no longer touching the controller and the cat is now being pet. So, Dan, you are good for game number one. Uh, all right, so we got two thumbs up. Let's count down game number two. Oh, I can do it in Max or uh, Nestor's Champs. Three, two, one, Tetris. And the pieces are the same. Portal was like telling me to count down like five, four, three, two, one. I was like, oh, wait, I see what's happening. So that means the cat is the cat not only came up to portal, the cat is on portal. And I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>